Hi everyone, Bob Dylan Pro Gaming here, and today I'm going to be playing Patchwork, which is an indie game off of GameJolt.com, uh, created by Elich or Elick. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the creator's name. Uh, basically, it's a fantasy point-and-click adventure, and I've played through it once before, and I found it interesting, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and hop right in. Alright, let's see. All systems are operational. Processing input data. Please wait. Estimated time remaining, 15 minutes. 10 minutes. 6 days. 40 seconds. That sounds a lot like uh, my computer downloading anything. Well, everything's going fine so far. Uh, the generator's on and fully charged. What else? There goes the phone. Write the phone! Use left click to interact with objects. Use right click to examine them. And we're gonna go and pick up the phone. Hello? Yes, I'm setting things up right now. Everything is pretty much ready, yeah. I'm good to go as soon as it's done processing the new data. Yes, I still want to test it myself. I built the damn thing. Come on, we've been through this already. No, I'd prefer, I'd much prefer the first man to use my teleport to be me and not someone else. Come on, it's been my dream since the first time I saw Star Trek. You don't want to crush my childhood dreams, do you? No, we're not in that business. Uh, and this way, if something goes wrong, it will be my own fault, right? No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. All the animals were okay, weren't they? All I, I'm an animal too, I'll be fine. Alright, I'll go check out the computer is doing and start the thing up. Yeah, see you on the other side. Get a bottle of champagne ready. Bye. Alright. Computer terminal. Please place the object due for teleportation on the scanner. The object due for teleportation? That's me! Nothing's happening. Something's not right. The scanner isn't working. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna plug in, plug it in. <laughs> no wonder it's not working. There we go, it should be fine now. Alright, so let's hop on the scanner, and we're gonna time travel, or whatever it is he's hoping. Uh, well, here goes. Question 17. Name three herbs commonly used in the creation of healing potions. Hmm, let's see. Thyme, Mandragora... What else? Oh god, I know this. Thyme, Mandragora, and Senna. Senna, of course! Fine, let's move on. Question 18. I get to click, sorry. <laughs> Crystal ball. Hello? Hello, Lynn. How are you, my dear? Hello, Uncle. I'm fine. What's up? Are you studying hard for your exams? Of course, Uncle. Good girl. I'm sure you'll do great. Listen, I have a lot of things to do here, and I'm afraid I won't be able to come home for a few days. I'm really sorry I have to leave you all by yourself right before your exams, but there's nothing I can do. Don't worry about it, Uncle. I'll, I'll be fine. I'm a big girl. Yes, of course you are. Alright, I should probably be going. Be good, Lynn. Don't do anything dangerous, okay? And don't forget to brush your teeth. Dot, dot, dot. I'll be checking up on you tomorrow. Okay, Uncle, bye. Alright. So, hmm, so I have, I have the study all to myself, huh? I'm not too worried about the theoretical part of the exam. I'm the best in class, after all. The practical application bothers me, though we're going to have to summon and banish a small demon. 
I think I should try it right now. I mean, it's a perfect opportunity. That's right. That's right. I absolutely would summon, you know, a demon all by myself. It'll be like a rehearsal, only, you know, with demons. I know we're only supposed to do things like that under a teacher's supervision, but hey, YOLO. But how bad can it be? I'm sure it'll be fine if I just follow the instructions carefully. Famous last words. Okay, I need to find the Book of Summonings. Alright, I'm assuming the Book of Summonings is in the bookshelf! Okay, what we have here... What do we have here? History of Magical Arts, Theoretical Magic, Might and Magic, Magic Carpets, Incantations for Dummies... Aha! Here we are, the Book of Summonings. Alright. Let's see. Demons. Demons. There we are. To summon a lesser demon, draw a pentagram on your circle. Check. Then pour some basilisk blood over the circle and say... <laughs> Cavie Aris Halia. Forwards and then backwards. Okay. okay, it sounds pretty easy. Neck to... Baracloth. <laughs> and I think we had some basilisk blood around here somewhere. Uh, what am I doing? Basilisk blood? Uh, ingredients? Nope. Nope. Um, other ingredients? Bad. Not in my inventory. What am I looking for? not sure what to do. Me either. I'm, I've played it before. Isn't that sad? Uh, I've already found the book I was looking for. Plant. It's purely decorative. There's just nothing jumping out at me saying Basilisk's blood. D display case? Is empty. Not useful. <clears throat> Walk over here so I can see. Can I go out the door? No, I don't want to go out right now. Well, Alright then. Book? Oh, I can read the book. Nope. Uh, this shouldn't be that hard. There. Really? There it is. Alright, so, no, give me that. Basically. Basilisk's blood. Incantation circle. Go. Okay, let's pour a little bit of this. There, done. Uh, okay. Uh, connect to Barak. Okay. <laughs> Cavier. Okay, oh dear, and backwards. You look great. Oh! I think that was right! <sighs> and... She's summoning an earthquake. Or a guy in a lab coat. What the... Um, Kalia Sir... I can't even pronounce it. Klav... Yeah. Uh, Ichi Lemser Kefir Dihon? I don't... What? I feel the same way. I'm just gonna let her... her yeah. She's, she's gonna talk all by herself, because I can't pronounce half of that. Can you understand me now? Uh, yes. How did you do that? Magic. Pretty, it's a pretty simple telepathy spell, really. But who are you? And what did you do to my house? You're not the demon I was trying to summon, are you? You look nothing like the pictures. What, telepathy? Demon? You're green! <laughs> out of all of that, that's what he picked out. <laughs> this isn't happening. It's not real. What? I don't know, I'm dreaming or I'm in a coma. You know, he really wanted it to be like Star Trek and there were green aliens. Were they green? Or was it blue? I think it was green. And this is my subconscious and you're my feminine side or something like that. Or I've died and this is purgatory. Or some other silly explanation straight out of the Twilight Zone. 
but it's definitely not reality. It can't be. Of course it's reality. What makes you think it's not? Well, magic is the obvious one. Also, green humanoids with pointy ears, those don't exist either. But I'm right in front of you. Yep, that's why I'm saying it's not real. But my house and all my books. Are you just gonna stand there and wait until everything somehow goes back to normal? Uh, yes, maybe. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. You're probably right. There's no point in just sitting around, real or not. But what can I do? I mean, there's no electricity in this magical kingdom, is there? Well, what's electricity, exactly? Electricity is like this flowing current of electrically charged particles that... I'm sorry, guys, I forgot how um, long and over whatever the word I'm trying to think of the beginning is. Uh, but as soon as they're done talking, it'll be much more doing. Uh, lightning. We can summon a lightning demon. Again with the demons, can't you just summon rain? I guess we could do that. Really? Well, I'll have to read up on it, but I think so, yes. Hmm, this might actually work. <clears throat> it will be like Back to the Future, only without the cars or the time travel. He just can't be happy. Right, in that case, we'll need to build a lightning rod to catch the lightning strike, summon the thunderstorm. We won't be able to contain the energy from the strike for long, though, so it's better if I find a way to power up the computer first. Alright, let's do it. You figure out how to bring about a thunderstorm, and I'll make some preparations of my own. I'm Daniel, by the way. I'm Lynn. Nice to meet you. Is the talking... Oh, the talking's done! Alright, awesome. Alright, you can switch between characters by clicking on their icons in the left corner of the drop-down menu. Uh, Alright, and since we're in here, and I really don't... F it's a pretty good telescope with some nice lenses. Not sure what I can do with it at the moment, though. I can't go ahead and pick them up? Okay. Well, I was gonna try to do as little backtracking as possible. It doesn't open and there aren't any locks or handles on it. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Door open, please. Clap on. <clears throat> Alright. Blacksmith. I love the, um... The, the, uh, the style of the artwork. It's it's pretty, and the music has a very calming effect. Excuse me, can I take this? Hmm? Oh yeah, sure. These are just scraps. And great. Now I have a little piece of wire. Exciting times. That's what I'm saying. Are you the local blacksmith? Yes, I'm Block. The best blacksmith and locksmith in the village. I'm also the only one, so it's not a tough competition. How can I help you, sir? Alright, can you make a lightning rod? Uh, I'm sorry sir, but I'm afraid I'm not taking any orders right now. Why not? Well, I've received a big order from Locks a little while ago, and it's not going too well. I tell you that much. I'm already behind schedule, so I can't take any orders until I'm done with that one. Uh, ch -ch -ch basically, I guess I'll click on it so you guys know. Is there anything I can help you with? Um, oh wait. Why are you having a- that was the one I meant to hit. Why are you having a problem with these locks? A good lock is a delicate thing. It has all these tiny screws and bolts, see? It was once a fine locksmith. But now my eyes are not what they used to be, and fiddling with locks is getting harder and harder. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's... Basically, he needs glasses. We, that's why I wanted those, those... I'm gonna go back and get those telescope lids while I'm right here. I'm not going to be going through every dialogue uh, that I possibly can because point and clicks are normally a lot of talking anyways. Uh, I'm going to take these lenses out. I'm sure no one's going to notice. We're going to sneak these lenses from this telescope that technically she's not allowed to touch. God, I feel guilty. You can feel guilty all you want. I don't. Alright. <clears throat> Where do I need to go first? I think I'm going to go to the field. There's a pixie there I need to piss off. Let's get to it. Alright. No! It looks like some kind of bug. Hey, you ain't so pretty yourself, mister. Wow, what a rude bug. Oh, haha, -ha, very funny. I know why you're here. You're one of them. You're all after me, after my precious magical essence, his lucky charms. Well, you're not getting any. Whoa, you have some serious problems, my friend. Yeah, I have a problem. You. 
I think you should relax. Oh, I'd love to relax, to lie in the shade on a cool rock, soft breeze, stroking my wings gently. That sounds very wrong. Not a care in the world. But how am I supposed to relax with you people always snooping around? Oh, whatever, I give up. Sounds about right. All right, stones. I'm gonna grab up one of them. Well, you never know when a nice big rock may come in handy, right? Right. This gorilla has nothing to say. Uh, we're gonna grab the dandelions. This hollow stem might prove useful. And it does. And then, let's see here. I, can I get any? I don't think I can get anything from him. Maybe I can. No, I can't. Hmm. Hello, good sir. Fine day, isn't it? May I say what a fine white garment you're wearing? Thanks. It's nice to see a person of class in our humble little village. You're not from around here, I take it. Um, I guess you could say that, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, I thought so, thought so. Or thought if so, is that what it said? <laughs> In that case, it might interest you to know that I sell the freshest, most delicious fruit around here. Sorry, but I'm not really interested in fruit right now. Nonsense, everyone likes fruit from kids to adults, from crockmen to celerus. Celerus? Here, try one, I bet you'll be back for more in no time. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, crap, what did he say? Uh, something, I'm sure it had, it's acidic fruit, so I'm sure it had something to do with that. Uh, I really don't think I should eat it, I think it's pure acid. Also, this merchant seems fishy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, goldfish. Okay. Let's see here. What can I pick up? Can I pick up those yet? No? Alright, we're gonna go to the cave. I'm gonna grab, there's an item in there I need. And then, isn't there? Or do I need something else first? I think I need something. I think this is where I'm supposed to switch to her. But I am all out of time for this video. So give it a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye!